A sunrise start. We started the morning early and watched the sunrise. Our accommodation was two miles from the lake, so we resorted to walking in the opposite direction to watch the sunset in what was the area where the wind turbines were being set up. Where was the third? Alongside us, we saw some workers uh, waiting for their bus to take them to work for the day. Oh, I'm staring straight at it. Oh, that's a More people now. Breakfast. Afterwards, we rushed back to get some breakfast where my mom is showing off red bean paste with uh, rice are. porridge. Goodbye. We also okay. said goodbye to our friend that we had made the other night. Wow. That whole island is fake. Who would have guessed? We had to stop at one point to admire the layering of the colors of the mountains with yellow sand dunes, brown mountains, and capped with snow. We sadly had to venture out of the lake plateau, but stumbled into a We're Back into the mountains bar. now. Covered top, and then the green forest. Here's another vertical bridge. This is China's famous Guozhou Bridge which was its first suspension road bridge. We are waiting for our QT drone to come back. Lian send it off over two kilometers to the bridge. But we can't really see it. I hope we will not <laughs> run out of the battery. Where is it?
truck carrying the wind turbine. A really, really long. Oh God, dear. Look. Oh, another one. We followed a path all the way around the mountain side. carrying fencing and some posts to set up fencing along the mountainside. We later met Long way up. of these workers and my mum struck up a conversation. This man had originally worked in the army, but now he managed uh, workers out in Xinjiang. He said it's a lovely place out here and it's very beautiful. He even offered us a lift back to our car, which we gratefully took up. His name was Dolly Grun. He was Kazakh. <laughs> After returning back to the car, we continued on further east towards the Kazakhstan China border I'd like to highlight what we normally see at a security stop here, they have cameras to take photos of everyone inside the car. You find them all over Xinjiang. China-Kazakhstan border is focused on the city of Korgos, 
which is Xinjiang's largest road and rail port. Eventually, we arrived at the border. Here you can see China customs and Kazakhstan from over the fenced walls. At the border, there was a tariff-free trading zone and a museum that we visited. The museum outlined China's historical trade routes such as the Silk Road and its Belt and Road Initiative. It also talked about China's history in trading with Kazakhstan and how that's changed over time. For ancient China, used to be this whole ring. And this small region is what was owned by Genghis Khan's fourth son. So China was a lot bigger. That's all of Russia. We noticed what looked like interesting sheet music on the wall, but different from anything we had seen. My mum recognised it instantly and began to sing. <laughs> if, I, if I look at that, I can just sing. You can it's read it. So you can yeah. read that. I, That's you can sing. singable. Look, look, look. Yeah. garbage trucks are sought after by Kazakhstan. We also watched all of the trucks and cars tra crossing all the border. these people are waiting Although to almost the all of them were traveling from all China these wind to turbine Kazakhstan. Blaze. Yeah. 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 Somewhere. My mum is fascinated. Exhausted from a long day, we headed onwards to Ening, where we would have dinner with our drivers. Family. We're at parents' house. They made us dinner. They treated us kindly and cooked delicious food, some of the best we've eaten in Xinjiang. They even invited us back for the next time. Finally, we went to visit the historical Uyghur region of Yining. This is where the Uyghur race have historically lived. Whilst this is not necessarily the case now, a lot of the buildings are preserved to maintain their historical accuracy. And we went to visit these in a tour. Apparently blue is a very important color to them, so all their houses, their buildings, bikes are blue. Even this Uyghur residential or even this Uyghur district has been turned into a tourist um, 
Their houses were, th were beautiful with intricate patterns all around through carpets on the ground, on the walls and beautiful cutlery, crockery and furniture. Every house we went to had some form of grapes growing over their garden. Whilst I'm sure not all Uyghur houses are so beautifully maintained and extravagant, these were, gave a good ex example, an impression of what their houses might look like. As you can tell, this was an action-packed day and we were exhausted by the end.